Section 2.2. Describe the end behavior. We have y equals this rational function right here. Now, to describe end behavior, we're looking at the limit as x approaches infinity of y. That would be way off to the right. And the limit as x approaches negative infinity of y, which is way off to the left. So we're looking at the end behavior. How does this function end? Well, when you're looking at end behavior, it's really large values of x billions trillions gazillions the biggest number you can possibly think of but let's talk about maybe a trillion adding two isn't going to really affect how this ends and adding one to a trillion isn't going to add how uh, affect how it ends and even taking three times a trillion doesn't hardly even touch the value that you'd get if you squared a trillion so the x squared really matters here on the bottom this doesn't matter compared to x to the fourth so now we're looking at x to the fourth over x squared now this is just for end behavior you can't just arbitrarily throw things out only when you're talking about end behavior now this reduces to x squared x squared graphs like a parabola so uh, y is going to infinity on both the right and the left of this function now what about this one well this doesn't matter that doesn't matter and this doesn't matter when you're talking about extremely large values of x so this reduces to negative x to the fourth over x when you're talking about large values of x and behavior so this is reduces to x, negative x to the third now negative x to the third graphs something like that so the limit as x approaches infinity of y is equal to negative infinity this is going down and the limit as x approaches negative infinity of y is equal to positive infinity. As we go to the left, this is going, uh, the graph is going up. In exercises 39 to 44, find a power function in behavior model for f and identify any horizontal asymptotes. So what does this look like on the end? What does, uh, what does it resemble? Well, f of x resembles 4 x squared so it's kind of asking the exact same thing that we just talked about now with letter b identify any horizontal asymptotes well on the ends this function looks like 4x squared so it's not leveling out there are no horizontal asymptotes so none uh, letter a on this one this on the ends is acting like 6 over 3 because the x squared's canceled these don't matter for ending behavior and so we have f of x equals 2. So f of x equals 2 is what how this function behaves on the ends. And then we have letter B. What is, is there a horizontal asymptote? Well, sure. This, functionally, this function is leveling out to 2 on both sides. So y equals 2 is going to be a horizontal asymptote. Find a right and left end behavior model for f of x equals x plus e to the negative x. So a right end behavior model is when x is equal to infinity so we're going to find out who dominates when x is infinity we have infinity plus e to the negative infinity and that's equal to infinity plus 1 over e to infinity because we have a negative power that'll send this down to the denominator well if we have an extremely large value in the denominator this fraction is going to zero so it's like having infinity plus zero which is equal to infinity so a right end behavior model is f of x is equal to x so this function acts like x uh, way on the right side well, what about when x is equal to negative infinity? We have f of negative infinity is equal to uh, infinity plus e to the negative negative infinity. And that's equal to infinity plus e to the infinity. Now imagine that we have, um, we start with 1 and e to the 1. This is 2.718. And then we have 2. Well, 2.718 uh, is about... Uh, you know, that's um, uh, like 3 squared. That's about 9. And 3, that would be 3 to the third. That's 27. This is definitely winning the race to infinity. Yeah, they're both going to infinity. But e to the x is actually winning the race. So a left-end behavior model would be f of x is equal to e to the negative x. This function behaves like e to the negative x going to the left. 
in exercise 45 to 48, find a simple basic function as a right end behavior model and a simple basic function as a left end behavior model for the function. So we're going to do the exact same thing we just did. So we need y of infinity is infinity squared plus this will be 1 over e to infinity. This one's going to 0 again. So while well, we have y equals x squared is uh, going to be the right end. So this would be letter A and then letter B. We have y of negative infinity is negative infinity squared and then plus e to the negative negative infinity, which is uh, going to be infinity squared and then plus e to the infinity. Now, exponentials almost always win the race. If you want to take a look at that, think about 10 squared. That's 100. Take 3 to the 10th power. That's way more than 100. So even when you get to the simple number of 10, e to the infinity is already winning uh, by quite a bit. So the left end is going to be y uh, equals e to the negative x.